two of my favorite Hollywood personalities, actors and talents in front of the camera, behind the camera, and with their furry friend, Ron and Prince. Wow, Ron, Devin, and Prince. How are you guys? Hi, how are you? Looking gorgeous as usual. Thank you. This is his first Hollywood Walk of Fame here. Wow. I think he needs his own little Walk of Fame. He does, with a little, yes. You know, tiny one. yes, tiny one. with his name and paw prints yeah. in the stars. Just a little exactly. toe print. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, what an incredible night to be together. The Hollywood Walk of Fame honors, because, you know, it's an honor to get one and to celebrate having your career as a legacy, but now to go back and reach other people who are no longer with us and be able to feature them as well in a sure. TV special. Absolutely. Oh, that's really cool. I grew up in old Hollywood. So Hard to believe, man. I know. You I look very young and handsome, Hollywood. And he Except. has his own Instagram, Mr. Prince 1999. Back to the dog. <laughs> Enough about me. Let's talk about Prince. Yeah. But you both have been in the business for so long. You know what is the really the uh, pageantry of the walk of, you know, uh, fame? It's just a legacy of what Hollywood was built on. People love having something to come and see of these people they may or may not have grown up with. I grew up with a lot of them on that Walk of Fame, and it's cool. Some of them used to come over to the house, and I would see this sort of fame Hollywood thing happen, and it was just kind of interesting, because it's like nothing else in the world. And Devin, I know you were very close with a, a musical artist that uh, touched all of our hearts around the world. Hence but, the name. Hence the name, but he was a personal, personal close friend of yours. Very, very good friend of mine, and I spent a lot of amazing t moments with him uh, in 1985 during Purple Rain. Um, I've actually written my memoir about those times and I'm going to release that early next year. And it's called? It's called The Day It Snowed in April. Huh. What a gr incredible title. I remember meeting Prince. My first professional job was on a TV show called Solid Gold in 1979 and the Saw Gold Dancers, Aww. and we featured musical artists who were on the way up, and there was this eccentric looking pirate sitting during the, uh, in the audience during the run through. Had no idea, had no idea <laughs> it was Prince. And this brilliant, brilliant eccentric talent hit the stage and just showed everyone something we had not seen before. Well, my time with him was very, very precious, and his death really affected me. And so that's why this little dog came into my life around the time I was writing all of my memories out because I didn't want to forget them. They were so precious. And his name was Spencer, but he's now the dog formerly known as Spencer because he's Prince. Can't you tell? Yes, of course. And what a great transition well, in the back side. story. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Well, enjoy tonight. Thank you for visiting with Thanks. us. And he should, uh, have a, he should have his star on yes. the Walk of yes. Fame. And that is the beautiful thing about the Walk of Fame, because it's not just TV and movies, but music as well. Well, he deserves to have yes. one. He gave a lot to Yes, him. like you guys have. Thank yeah, you I so much. teach him guitar now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know about that. Thanks. There they go. Wow, what a night. What a red carpet. Celebrities, movie stars, and musical artists all gather here tonight for the Hollywood Walk of Fame honors. And you're here with Bionic Buzz. This has been a great time tonight. Be watching the CW on November 23rd. That's what it's going to air. But we got a sneak peek through Bionic Buzz here tonight. Oh, yeah. See you next time. I'm Jamie Monroy.